She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I live in a Torah caravan full time with my partner James who's actually at work today. I'm working from home so I thought why not take a little break and do a caravan tour for you. We've only been living in our caravan for about four weeks I think. Yeah four weeks. Um, so we are new to caravanning life. We're doing it for a reason. I can explain that in another video because that'll be a bit long. But yeah, let's just do a caravan tour if you're interested. If not, fair enough. <laughs> it's not for everyone, I know. I myself thought it would take me a lot longer to be able to adapt to this lifestyle. It's hard to explain like what it feels like when you wake up in the morning and you open the door and it's just filled and like birds and Okay, I sound like an old lady now. Right, okay, let's just do this caravan tour, okay? Please excuse the mess. Basically, I haven't cleaned it. I work full time. I have a part-time evening like business. I don't have time to clean the caravan, okay? Do you know what? It's real life. That's what life is like. <laughs> So I'm just going to spin you around in case you're wondering where I was filming this intro. It's kind of this spot that we call the hidden spot. And the only way I can explain it, right, is basically this is the site behind all of these trees. You can't see it right now. There's a path and the path leads all the way around the site. So you can have a nice walk. If you've got dogs, you could walk the dogs. But this is like this sort of hidden secret spot, as my partner calls it. And it's just really nice. Like, I have actually come out here once and sat on my chair, just like watching YouTube videos. I want to say something more better, like reading books, but no. Chelsea doesn't read books. Chelsea ain't got time. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is I will show you the outside of the caravan, but then we will do the tour inside and then I'll go around the outside because there's like compartments. Um, around the outside of the caravan so we'll do that. I did forget to say at the beginning of this intro that today is Monday the 15th of August 2022. So this is our Torah caravan. It is a Sterling Searcher Elite twin axle. It's got a fixed bed. It's a four berths which basically means it can sleep four people. So let's start with the inside. This is the door and you can lock it from the inside. You just lift that up so when we go to bed at night we'll put that up um it's quite nice we've got a handrail i don't think anyone else on this site actually has steps with a rail we do have uh, like two members of our family that are sort of physically disabled so this would be really helpful for them actually so anyway the main show yeah let's start this side okay so this is our living room area obviously that is a massive sofa can i just say we can probably sit about five people on there let's be real nobody has a skinny enough bum to sit there we obviously have one two three four five windows uh, they do have bug screens these three do but they're actually broken obviously we've only been here a month so there are things that we need to fix or change also can i just add we lived in a two-bedroom masonette for three years and we had to buy a wardrobe just to have storage this caravan has more storage than our masonette did so yeah at the moment i keep the kettle and the toaster i think here i usually put like bottles of water i've got the squash there containers if we make like extra bolognese we just put it in there take it to work nothing in these cupboards at the moment we've got little lights here which i'm not gonna lie they're actually brighter than this one and then we've got little lights here as well i think they turn on don't they yeah. we've got a little cupboard under in here that will actually take you to the battery but at the moment i've got like youtube equipment which i actually need to sell because i'm filming this on my iphone and it's basically sort of better quality um under here excuse my car oil by the way but under here is like the hot water tank i do want to reveal this this is quite cool i'm not gonna lie we're calling this our little secret compartment this is just documents of the caravan um so there's actually nothing exciting <laughs> under there but i just we just like calling it that um because it's kind of cool we've got a gas heater here um but in the winter we won't be using the gas heater we're gonna buy an electric heater where you can set a timer um so that it's not on all the time 
So yeah, this is now moving on to the kitchen area. This is just kind of that drawer. Keys, safe, purse, wallet. We'll just keep it in that drawer. We are going to get a small telly. So for the last month, we haven't had a telly, but we are going to need a small one. I'm thinking sort of 19 inch, unless you can get like 22, I don't know. This was the only plug socket we had in this area. There is no other plug socket in this living room kitchen area. So we did have to buy one of these. These are the dials, by the way. So don't ask me what that is because I don't know this is for the outside light so if i was to turn this off now the outside light won't turn on this is for the hot water if i turn this to the flame you'll see it go green i'm hoping you can see that right there excuse my fingernails because i do bite my nails um and then yeah i turned it back off we only turn it on when we're actually going to use the hot water like to have a shower so this is the kitchen area we got two cupboards up here well three cupboards actually this is kind of like crisps bread if i open this is it all going to fall out oh no bread cookies crisp rice pasta cereal i need my dad to sort of fit a shelf this is a dish drying mat i think i got this from either dunelm or the range it was about five pound ten pounds something like that you can get it from robert dias i think you can get it anywhere it's dirty though because can i just say when i need to do the dishes okay i put the dirty dishes here wash dry my partner james do you know what he does right he comes in to give me his dirty washing thinking he's being helpful is he being helpful nah -uh. because he goes and puts the dirty washing here look at that absolute madness don't worry i sent a picture to my mum was like can you get me one of these for christmas anyway sorry moving on again this is the sink but this actually acts as a chopping board as well glasses and mugs and then in this one we keep our bowls and our plates this is the only part of the caravan that's actually broken so there is a crack but this is not on the outside it's only on the inside which is fine oven and the hob under here we've got this is where we keep our knives and forks and spoons here is where we keep our bin now we can actually get a bin i think that hooks onto the door which would be very helpful but at the moment we haven't got one so we're keeping that there pans this cupboard is a massive dining table like it is huge this actually folds out oh there you could have breakfast in bed james take note you need to make breakfast in bed so round the other side we've got the fridge and the freezer can you tell what my favorite drink is it also has a lock down here so you can lock it when you're traveling but we don't because we're on this site permanently this is the freezer i mean come on i can't even get a tub of ice cream in there don't even ask me how i got them in and then up here is the microwave Woo! this is the bedroom area this is a double bed the bed does actually lift up i would do it but the last time i did it i broke it the whole under of this bed is storage it's not like sort of part of it or half like the whole lot is storage directly underneath this if that makes sense we got four cupboards up here so this is actually where i keep my clothes um and then james keeps his clothes in the wardrobe okay so this is the bathroom excuse the towel that i put there we got two cupboards two shelves another cupboard with shelves inside two drawers cupboard shelf shelf and then even better shelves behind the door so yeah we got the sink here this is the shower yes it is a proper shower we can stand in um this is where we're putting all our laundry so we got this little wash basket from dunelm um, this is where we put our wash in at the moment and then when I need the shower we take it out we put it over there have a shower and then once we finished our shower as soon as this floor is dry I put it back in here there is a light in the shower this door does close if you want a bit of privacy only thing is you can actually open it from the other side but you know uh, let's now move on to the outside this is actually locked but this is where the flush from the toilet comes this is the toilet cassette i think it's called so this is where all our toilet waste goes we have to clean it out every two days that's a chelsea job because i don't actually mind cleaning the toilet honestly if james ever cleans the toilet you could be you could be the other side and you will literally hear james gagging like we're like is that james gagging yes it is this compartment it is locked because it takes you underneath our bed so obviously we wouldn't want to be sleeping or out for the day and there's somebody going in to all of our stuff so we do keep it locked but that yeah that takes you underneath the bed this is where the water comes out so the dishes come out of here um like when you're washing the dishes when you're having a shower it all comes out this is the water uh, so the water all goes into here and then goes up into there 
that's what that is this is for like when we're cooking the smoke whatever you call it comes out there this is the gas bottle um obviously plugs into here um we always keep the gas off unless we need it for cooking that's the only time we turn it on then we turn it off this is the um hot hot water but the watering can we use to fill up that flush over here this is a barbecue gas point this is i think this is just storage james has got these silly fireworks in there just storage this is our caravan battery and then this is where our electric hooks up to this is where everything's plugged into so we've got the electric is hooked up onto here and we pay for the electric on it's like on a card um so that's how much electric we've got right now and this is the water uh we've got two chairs to sit outside james's mine and then we got wood underneath the tires i think that protects the grass or something i don't actually know the bricks are for when we're cooking on a barbecue if we were cooking on a portable one and then we do have feet on the caravan now i think that is everything she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see